many witnesses, including the number of Dr. Knox's assistants, made their way onto the stand to testify in court. Some said that they saw Helen McDougall to the university multiple of times during the daylight and that William Burke has been seen a few days before his death looking underwhelmed about an unknown situation. One witness testified that a night before the victim's corpse was discovered, he saw someone who looked like William Hare carrying a sack in the shape of a human body to the university. A critical testimony came from a senior assistant of Dr. Knox, Mr. David Patterson. Dr. Knox follows an extreme method in persuasion. I couldn't question his actions further than my knowledge went, but I can't help but to admit that I overheard a discussion between him and Mr. Burke that sounded quite inappropriate to me. Mr. Burke came to Dr. Knox to confess that he felt very guilty and depressed for supplying him with cardamoms. Although Dr. Knox accepted Mr. Burke's decision to stop working for him, he warned him to keep everything a secret, otherwise he wouldn't hesitate to use Mr. Burke's body for one of his lectures. Shocking and revealing were the two strongest words that someone could use to describe David Patterson's testimony.